Hey everyone, um, I have a new helicopter here and it's going to be an old helicopter but new to me it's a, a Line 700E, oh no, sorry, 700X and it's right next to my 700L Dominator. Um, Why did I get a 700X? Just because it's you know, still available, parts are still available and it was a good deal honestly. I found out um, while trying to research some parts and stock up on some parts for my 700 not that I've crashed or anything like that it is a brand new kit has very you know well I'm probably the only person that's ever flown it whoever I purchased it from never flown it never had flown it so I mean it's re it's practically brand new so I did want some spare parts for it and uh, the main part that I wasn't going to be able to get anymore as far as uh you know what I was looking for was my my main frames my this, these since it's a one piece uh, panel they're no longer available and crashing this would be you know pretty sad because it most likely not something I repair so I guess I'm just gonna retire my 700L and I'm just gonna possibly put this in a 700 fuselage scale fuselage might end up crashing that most likely won't but you never know so I probably see no damage to my mainframes with the fuselage over the entire bottom boom anyways here's my 700 there's a few custom things i've done to it uh, no upgrades it's completely spawn stock and here's a closer look uh here at the front i made this little extension to the front and it kind of just goes to the uh, receiver uh, portion of the frame and it just kind of completes a helicopter. I don't really like how a line would do this uh, with these older helicopters where the uh, receiver and ESC mount would hang over where the carbon fiber would, would end. So I did this and it to me it looks more like a traditional, the newer, more modern helicopters. So here you have it another thing I did if you can notice with the camera is the carbon fiber panels are now matte they have a matte finish I used Tamiya uh, matte paint uh, flat clear TS and it does not scratch easy does not scuff at all I've tested it on my uh, 700L because they didn't have the mat frames available anymore so I that's the route I went with and it turned out to be a good idea and it worked and looks better to me it looks more modern just like the newer kits on the market another thing I did was I uh, etched in my logos my aligned logos into my blade grips and as you can see it's black now but of course before I turned it black I didn't want to lose my 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 logos at all for my markings I didn't want people thinking this was some counterfeit or clone part that I installed but it still says a line now they're engraved you can etch your logos in with uh, using uh, what do you call it cotton swab with some salt water and a 9 volt battery there's many videos on YouTube for that and then I stripped the entire anodized finish from the head, which was the polished look. Identical to the 700E, 700L. Anyways, I painted it with uh, acrylic paint, Tamiya, a TS semi gloss. Does not scratch easy at all by any means. It's very, uh, it's holding up pretty well, and it's very durable. Even when you try to scratch it hard at the edges, the corners, it does not scratch. So, for anyone who wants a black main head, um, I guess you can install the TB70 main head. But to me, it's I'd rather not throw too much money into an older helicopter. I mean, I don't know if Alliance is going to really um, support this model any, any time longer. But if they do, great. I will do that and just throw the TB70 main head on this. But as far as that goes, it's a great head. It's a great kit it's nothing wrong with it there's no reason for me to replace it looks great and 
here you have it one more time let me back up a bit so you can see the entire view of the frame but yeah you know the tb70 came out and i feel like this is gonna get back on the shelves on the market for a much cheaper price uh due to it being pre-owned and age and yeah i mean this is a great kit there's nothing wrong with this it's a torque tube helicopter but you know what these torque tube helis are much easier to repair as far as replacing the tail and boom it's much easier to do an auto rotation more efficient easier on the battery packs um, less resistance on the bearings and all that because you don't have that belt uh, preloading every component in the drivetrain so that's that and but of course if you hit the tail to the ground or dig it into the ground you're gonna strip those gears and you're gonna have to have a few on hand they're not very forgiving when they uh, contact anything so I mean grass will be fine but when you're digging that tail into mud hitting rocks or stuff like that you're gonna strip those or you know risk chipping those the teeth off or stripping them and if you don't if you just continue to fly those gears you might have a, a mechanical failure in the tail so let's uh, keep this sweet and short here's the uh back to the helicopter it does have the oversized the thicker uh tail boom supports and i do i am running the align uh, 700 uh carbon aluminum tail boom it is also matte like rubberized finish which matches what i've done with the frames coming to the back you see that little stabilizer accessory that nice uh, tail fin and i am running some rails i love rail blades uh these are the 106 uh, millimeters and also please drop a comment below this uh line helicopter that i got came with like oversized um tail blade grips they were, they're much bigger much beefier than these this is a brand new uh, uh head but if you guys know anything please you know leave a comment below i'm not sure if the bigger ones for like the 800 size or it just maybe comes that way since it's the uh newer version of their you know prior to the tb70 uh coming out you know i want to know if this is the uh, like an upgrade that they did to the uh 700x which it possibly might have come with an oversized uh, tail blade grip um in the rear so with that said you know i have uh red and black gears in the rear i just didn't have a new i don't trust any pre-owned helis with their main their shafts I, I always just put a new tail shaft new main shaft and new feathering you know i'd rather be safe than sorry and i know this is not going to have vibrations so i just didn't have a red one either way red blue black uh on these gear sets they all strip easy so it doesn't really matter just keep your tail out of the ground and this one does 700x does have this uh five degree uh tail uh, landing gear is leaning forward and it raises a tail like maybe a two inches and a half off the ground it's great for uh, taking off on grass uh, this one will cut grass on the tail you'll be fine for the most part uh, but you got to take off pretty quick and get it out of the you know just make sure you don't lean back uh, tilt it backwards and always just take off in a forward flight never had issues but I guess it's a possibility if you're learning how to fly and you dig the tail in on takeoff. Um, with these two kits, I'm running the same mains. It's a 110 uh, tooth gear to, I believe, a 13 tooth pinion. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this uh, kit. It's an awesome kit. I think you guys should look into this. It's an older helicopter, yes, but it's still available and every part's still made and, and available for purchase. There's many parts out there for this kit. It's durable. It's been proven. You know, there's many videos on YouTube with for you know for setting this thing up, or building it, repairing it. Um, there's some things that people say that they have a tail hum and this and whatnot. You know, you gotta have the knowledge behind this and understand how these things work, and that way you can set them up the way they should be. Uh, don't half-ass anything because it can end up pretty bad, and you might have you know experiences where you might hear noises and stuff like that. These you know. As far as the Align helicopters that I've had, I've never experienced any of these uh, issues that have been presented on other uh, models, I guess, or I don't know. People 
probably just lack the experience of to assembling these things not sure what it could be uh maybe yeah uh, um I, I'm, I read forums and reports on the line that they've recalled some parts you know feathering shaft bolts you know coming apart higher rpms stuff like that you know when you have the facts in front of you of course uh, address it and repair for the uh, replace any component that should be replaced for the you know the component that'll fix it that way you're you're safer out there and you don't lose all the money that you've thrown into the the kit itself but you know this is probably my daily right now for my 700 sizes i have my tron uh, below the bench and i just tend to fly the lines more because it's a cheaper 700 to fly it's not parts are very easy uh, to get they're, they're much cheaper than uh, most of the newer modern kits out there in a 700 size platform and yeah i mean it's you know i feel like you guys will see many deals out there right now because people are upgrading to their newer uh, tv70s or whatnot any other make and models out there for heli kits so stay tuned i will assemble this pretty soon on 12s possibly maybe success not sure yet but consider buying this it's a pretty cool kit guys and it's a best to me it's probably the best kit you can get for your money and it's still in 2023 and it's so good that you know it's just the best step up from like a, maybe a 550 and there you have my blades in the rear <laughs> awesome awesome you know helicopters also um here you got the 550 i'd say if you had a 550 fusion or any 550 uh, class heli a 700x would be a great you know step up it's the cheapest way to go and honestly another I don't know if i haven't mentioned already replacing the tail on this on a 700 that's torque tubed or any heli that's torque tube is much easier than replacing a, a tail on a belted uh heli because you don't have to run that that belt through the uh, boom and then loop it around your your main gear which you have to take apart and pull out the main shaft and all it's just much more work to set it up mechanically but of course it's much more rigid system where it doesn't strip or fail uh with just a nick of the blades on the ground or you know but man taking this helicopter apart so quick within like two minutes three minutes you know you take off this uh screw loosen these up a little bit pull the boom out remove your uh boom support uh screws the entire boom is off that's just so quick and of course I'll uncouple your uh undo your your um push rod for this uh tail servo and then after that if you want to remove your gears you get your one screw at the bottom three millimeter take it off pull this up and main gear comes out um another thing you know replacing your bevel gears in here you got a few screws to remove um, and at that point you know it's not too bad to remove either this helicopter comes in peace it comes apart so quick and you just have to have it to know um, but yeah I mean I've, it's harder to crash these things because they're so big in the air more presence but yeah I mean it's everything's on a compromise I'm sure you guys already understand that and consider this model I wouldn't consider something like the 700L anymore it's some of the things are discontinued on it as far as the frame goes everything else is the same that's what I love about Align they use parts on their newer models that are compatible backwards compatible like the tb70 main head is compatible with the 700x and the dominator l it's all the same thing so yeah guys thank you for you know tuning in and checking this out and i hope you guys like this 700x well as far as i have it uh, set up here's one more look at it Here's the other side of it. Oops, I don't want to drop it. You get a look of the front without that uh, extension that I've added. 
it's awesome. I like it. All right, guys. Goodbye.